Fargo had considered raising prices on customers to offset her higher costs, but her window to secure the toys for the holidays has passed. Snowcone the Happy Unicorn is the latest victim of manufacturing chaos Fargo, who imports Snowcone from a manufacturer in China, paid $1,300 in May for 500 of them. When she went in to re-up her order in August, the same order cost $9,000. I can't place an order. My margins just do not support it, said Fargo, whose Costa Mesa, California-based business Create Ive D normally sells the product on its website and in Hallmark stores. Fargo is searching for manufacturing options in India and Europe to produce a couple hundred of the stuffed animals for Christmas, but her hopes are. The problem is not demand from customers for the toy, according to Fargo. The demand is there. It's the supply. It's really a big blow, she said, the problem is not demand from customers for the toy, according to Fargo. The demand is there. It's the supply. Increased expenses and myriad supply chains pressures, factory shutdowns, bottlenecks at key ports, and struggles hiring domestic truck drivers, are taking a toll on businesses of all sizes entering the pivotal holiday stretch. Large retailers have a business social networking company found that 78% said they are having difficulties getting supplies. 37% of small business owners report supply chain disruptions have had a significant impact on their business, while 29% reported a moderate impact, according to a survey of five. Because of the sheer volume of what they purchase and getting potential business in the future said Penfield. As companies battle to secure inventory for holiday shoppers, large companies have the upper hand over small right now. Why small stores are at a disadvantage this year, top players such as Walmart, Costco, Mint, said large retailers have long-term contracts with shipping companies and enough volume that make them ship as most important customers. That's a big benefit when containers are stuck at ports. One big advantage for top chains is scale, which translates to priority with shippers. This makes their containers first to get on board and last to be offloaded, he said in an email. They also have dedicated agents at the ports to help smooth the clearance process, saving them time. Large retailers also often have backup suppliers in different parts of the world to allow them to avoid port bottlenecks, he said. If some of the ports or routes from Asia gets too crowded, they can shift to Central or South America to manufacture their goods and vice versa, KEH said. Most independent stores don't have the access to capital to fund costly options like chartering ships, nor do they have backup supplies on hand. The holidays are usually a busy time of year for Simply Naked Candle Company, a boutique candle shop in Cunias, Georgia. But this year, the store is having trouble procuring jars, wax and fragrances from domestic suppliers that are essential to producing its most in-demand candles, such as love and honey, brown sugar and pineapple passion. Co-owner Shante Smith has set up email alerts from essential oil suppliers that notify her when oil she needs are back in stock. She recently got an alert at 2A in and woke up to buy the product on the spot because she worried it would be sold out by the morning. Smith is paying $5 for jars that cost $1.75 last year. A 50-pound box of wax costs $110, up from $55. Smith used to order these suppliers in bulk. But now she's ordering them piecemeal and she's running low since she doesn't have the cash to pay for the quantity she'd normally get. If we could afford to order more, we would, she said. We have a very, very strict budget. Ideally, Smith would buy full pallets of around 1,000 jars, which would allow her to bring down the price she pays per unit. If we could afford to order more, we would, she said. We have a very, very strict budget. But she's stuck paying more for less since she can't meet that threshold. If I had enough to buy pallets at a time, that would be a good Christmas for me. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe. Full passion. Co-owner Shante Smith has set up email alerts from essential oil suppliers that notify her when oil she needs are back in stock. She recently got an alert at 2 a in and woke up to buy the product on the spot because she worried it would be sold out by the morning. Smith is paying $5 for jars that cost $1.75 last year. A 50-pound box of wax costs $110, up from $55. Smith used to order these suppliers in bulk, 
but now she's ordering them piecemeal and she's running low since she doesn't have the cash to pay for the quantity she'd normally get. If we could afford to order more, we would, she said. We have a very, very strict budget. Ideally, Smith would buy full pallets of around 1,000 jars, which would allow her to bring down the price she pays per unit. If we could afford to order more, we would, she said. We have a very, very strict budget. But she's stuck paying more for less since she can't meet that threshold. If I had enough to buy pallets at a time, that would be a good Christmas for me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.